How would you like to get gold, jewelry, a plane, houses, cars, limos, a tank, literally everything, everything in the country, possibly for free? Imagine that. That's what you could do with this program. The best deals ever are free, right? And there's so much valuable stuff that's got to go. Stuff that you can get for free or very little money and turn around and sell it. For little or no money, you can get this stuff. The rich are no stranger to this. I'm talking about houses. I just talked to somebody the other day that took a house and bought it for next to nothing, a few thousand dollars, and flipped it for $177,000. We're talking about cars, books, computers, and more. You can easily qualify for and certain people get it absolutely for free if you qualify i'm going to give you guys the details on everything you need to know so you don't want to miss out on this stay to the end of the video for all the details the biggest customer in the world has surplus that they need to get rid of otherwise they have to cover the storage fees and also all the fees to keep them there plus they disintegrate in value talking about cars houses jewelry limos all kinds of stuff like from drug seizures and all types of stuff i know people with their entire house filled with stuff that they're selling on Craigslist, eBay, and also Amazon. Imagine if 30% of America decided to hold a massive yard sale or a garage sale or take all their stuff to the flea market. I'm talking about 30% of the whole country. Not just a few hours a day, but round the clock. It may sound implausible, but such an event actually exists, and it's called the Federal Surplus Property Program. What makes the government's yard sell unique? Certain individuals can qualify for items for free, particularly small business owned by veterans or special classes. To qualify for these free items, individuals must be both veterans and business owners. They can become eligible by obtaining a certification from the local small business development center, that's the SBDC, Small Business Development Center office. The program offers a wide range of items, including limousine seizures from drug operations, even airplanes, believe it or not. These goods can be provided to veteran-owned businesses or nonprofit organizations allowing them to acquire resources without any cost. And if you do get a plane and you don't need it, let me know. I'll buy it from you, especially if it's a deal. Just imagine the possibilities. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I'm here to help you get money, get free stuff, leverage that money through loans and invest it. I can relate to where you are. I've been broken, homeless, a multimillionaire four different times. Finally locked in a success that I think can never be taken away the rest of my life. And now I'm working with you guys to help you guys out through information like on this channel, as well as buying businesses. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries. I'm buying businesses with you guys, 99 in Epic 99, and we're buying them together. I put up the capital and you get 81%, I get 19%. You run the business. We're buying baby boomer businesses. And if you're a business owner, want to sell your business, make sure you reach out to me by email. We want to buy your company. Also, if you need a loan, I got 12 different programs in the description, 80 different lenders to get you your money for your business. So check that out it's in the description. I don't communicate in the chat section or the comment section. That is somebody else trying to scam you. Also, grab your stock with Moomoo Moo down in the description. It's really awesome. It's free money. Just open an account with them is the only thing. So into the video. First, imagine the local church, your community has purchased a tank. Yes, I'm talking about a tank, a tank, like a war tank, to use in the next parade they are participating to promote their beliefs or your beliefs if, if it's your church. I can think of one incident where an initiative was responsible for literally delivering 500 beds to a convent in Connecticut that houses elderly people. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for a charitable organization to pick up these items and then flip them or sell them or keep them. The Federal Surplus Property Program is able to meet the requirements of these groups by giving them free access to a wide variety of vehicle, pieces of equipment, furniture, and even technological things, all types of things, houses, limos, you name it, they probably got it. You can find a variety of surplus products at the state level by visiting the website of the Federal Surplus Property Program and locating the office that serves your area. When I was younger, I recall going to the state office and finding that they had a lotto 
wheel and other fun goods associated with visits and they were very helpful there was all kinds of stuff i even like looked at police vehicles that were like 500 bucks for a police car this initiative can be a tremendous use of nonprofit organizations by providing them with access to free resources such as those automobiles equipment furniture technological goods such as computers an extraordinary case that involves a person who was convicted of an entire air force base into a race radio station that broadcasts for charitable causes. Can you imagine that? Surprisingly, even prominent people have been known to acquire stuff from the government's overstock. The legendary actor John Wayne once bought a yacht and repurposed it for a government-owned swift boat that was no longer in use. Additionally, a Nevada brothel, you're not gonna believe that, yes, uh, that was unable to pay its small business administration. Yes, they got an SBA back loan and received assistance from the government and it ended up in the government sur surplus program. This one of a lifetime occurrence shed light on the enormous variety of objects and things that were sold and available to be purchased through the federal surplus program. The General Service Administration, the GSA, General Service Administration, the organization that is responsible for managing for various government assets is the one in charge of the administration of this program. Its mission is to ensure that eligible participants such as charitable organizations, enterprises, is run by veterans, receive special accommodation and timely and also effective manner to help them get these goods. The initiative helps those who are struggling financially, while others guaranteeing that objects that have been unclaimed or confiscated are given to others who can appreciate them. It's fascinating to learn that other organizations like the post office also use procedures that are quite similar to those used by the Postal Service. The Postal Service holds its own cell, but through an excess property program. Goods are also made available through charitable organizations. Because of this, charitable organizations now have the chance to purchase excess things and generally huge revenue streams by utilizing online marketplaces such as eBay. So, you know, you can look for grants if you're a nonprofit organization, but this could be another stream of income that you could qualify for. You could want to discuss the possibility of holding a garage sale under the auspice of a local church or other charitable organizations through the participation of the federal surplus program. Your organ organization has the opportunity to acquire a wide range of products at no cost and produce cash by selling them through like a garage sale, Craigslist, Facebook marketplace, maybe even YouTube. Imagine the possible positive effect that could have on the neighborhood by offering assistance resources and helping raise money for a charitable organization, a church that these charitable organizations are are constantly looking for different ways to produce revenue to help their cause. In a similar vein, businesses that are owned by veterans have the potential to capitalize on the situation by reselling any surplus thing that they acquire through the program. You might be able to purchase a computer, then either give it away to people who need it or put them up for sale and generate some income for the company or charitable organization. Because once you take it, even for free, you're, you can sell it. Federal Surplus Property Program presents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for small businesses, charitable organizations, former service members. This program makes it possible to give a wide variety of surplus things for no cost, including those automobiles, piece of equipment, as well as furniture and technological devices. By taking advantage of this initiative, individuals and organizations have the opportunity to convert unused resources in our government into assets that are used in our community. These these assets can be used for all kinds of different purposes and you can use it for fundraising in your organization or a provision that is a essential resource for these charitable organizations to be able to help them stay alive. Check out these programs. They're absolutely unbelievable. They will be around the rest of your life and they've been around all of my life. So don't miss out on them. Usually only the rich know about these programs because they typically take advantage of them. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Love you.